this is you showing yourself that you're worthy. It's creating content, it's reaching out, it's spreading the message. But who do you spread the message to? The people who are currently going through the thing that you went through. And then life changes. All of a sudden, this is the most important thing in my life. If I wait for that fear to pass, it's not gonna happen. I'm never gonna record. I wanna tell you, I'm so nervous right now doing this. I feel my yes. heart pounding as soon as I press the request and my throat is tightening up and that's why I really need to do it. That's and the best. I know, I'm so scared. I'm, You've helped me so much, and so has Lily Ma. Just, um, you know, my purpose comes from my pain 100%, and just I want to help women. I grew up with my mom, you know, she didn't love me, and she told me that. So my purpose definitely comes from my pain, and that's just I want to get that message out that, you know, you're worthy and you're loved, and you can heal. Definitely can heal from pain and brokenness. You're not just saying the words, you're doing it. Like the fact that you're nervous and you're scared and your heart's beating out of your chest yeah, and you're like, oh my gosh, he's going to bring me in and here we are. This is you showing yourself that you're worthy and then leading by example for other people, whether it's, whether it's women who want to come on an Instagram live or anything, like anybody who doesn't feel worthy can be inspired by what you're doing, not just by what you're saying. I have a quick question. So how do I get, because... I have to meditate every single day. If I don't meditate, yep. I feel completely off. My day will be just, I can just get angry quicker. And when I meditate, I find that I can bounce back to love faster. So how do I share my passion to help others and connecting with nature and meditation? And First off, how long do you need to meditate a day to get that feeling? It can be five minutes. It could be an hour. It can be just depending on how much time I have. I have my family will literally interrupt me when I'm meditating. Mom, this happened the other day. Mom, the toilet's overflowing. <laughs> I kid the, you not. The what? What's the happening? Toilet, the toilet was overflowing. The toilet was overflowing? That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, <laughs> okay, what did, what problem for you did meditation help solve when you first started meditating just to feel more connected to to god and just to, uh, okay but why because i just felt so lost and i went on um started a health journey gave up sugar i was um diagnosed with type 2 diabetes in 2016 and i wanted to reverse it without medication so within three months of low carb but not keto i reversed it and but where's the meditation in that? that? That's diet, but where's the meditation? Right, and meditation came through that first, like just being in nature, connecting. That started the meditation journey. And then I started looking into different apps like the Insight Timer and just started. I just feel like really connected through meditation. But the, med but the, the connectivity is the solution to what problem? I guess finding myself because I I get a lot of insight through meditation when my mind is quiet i get a lot of answers to questions and just how to proceed with my channel my journey so for example i broke my neck right you right. sent me a meditation you and and somebody else sent me the music to meditate. i figure what it's called but i have it every night every night nina and i where's nina there's nina on the couch <laughs> every night nina and i play play the music for an hour to hour 15 and meditate, imagine the healing and slowly like pass out. <laughs> I've, I've never done that. Like meditation is, I've never had meditation work for me, but because of the severity of, oh my gosh, I don't want to have spinal surgery. I'm willing to try anything. Yeah. Then here I am willing to. So that injury of me not wanting to have to have spinal surgery on my broken neck led me down this path that hopefully is working. And I'll see, you know, in a week when I get back to Toronto, if I'm healing. So meditation can solve lots of different problems for lots of different people. The, the, the feeling connected can solve lots of different problems for lots of different people. Just like my broken neck was the thing that led me to it. What's the problem that you help solve at the beginning that meditation helps solve. I guess to bring me peace because I feel a, a lot of nervous what? energy, just, just peace of in here in my, in my, you know, 
internal but, piece. So, so what were you going through, though, that led you to say, like, I'm willing to try anything. Okay, I'll give meditation a shot. Just, well, a lot of marriage problems and just feeling disconnected from my husband, I guess. Great. So, so that's a great starting point. You want to spread your message. You want people to feel the, the power of meditation, how it can connect you. You can lead it through people who are having marital problems, which is like everybody. <laughs> right? You know, like half of couples get divorced and the other half go through problems. So that's an easy way in because your path you, you got through it through meditation and through the meditation, you got more connected to yourself and to God and to your husband and to everything else. And then the exact recipe that you followed, like the exact music you listened to, the exact format of morning or afternoon or evening, whether you involved your husband in anything or not, or he went off and did it on his own or not, like, it doesn't matter. Whatever steps you followed is a recipe that worked for you. And now is a duplicatable recipe for other people. So you said, hey, Evan, you should listen to this song. Great. I'll listen to the song. I'll meditate. Here we go. Right. So other people who are who are going through marital problems, they're like, I don't know what to do. I'm willing to try anything. I feel like I'm worth nothing in this marriage right now, but I want to fix it. So you have a recipe that can help not everybody, but some people through it. And those are the people you'll connect more with than even the guy we just had on, the 14-year-old entrepreneur. Could meditation help him? If, if I ask you, you're going to say, of course, meditation can help him. <laughs> but he's not going to listen to you as much because you're not in the same thing. But if there's another married woman who feels disconnected from her husband and her marriage is on the rocks, you're going to feel super connected to her. And she's more likely to listen to your advice. And you'll love helping her more than you'll love helping the 14-year-old guy we just had on. Not that you won't like helping him, but because your purpose comes from your pain, because you struggled so much with it, it's just extra special for you to help other people who are going through those things too. So that's how you spread the message. And, and anytime, I mean, you can be creating content like Instagram or YouTube and talking about here's how you can get out of marital problems through joint meditation right? Or through just yeah. your own meditation. I haven't heard anybody talk about that kind of stuff. So already you're unique. That's if you want to be a thought leader, content creator, or even just within your circle of friends or the people who you're following. If like you reached out to me, you saw I broke my neck. You said, Hey, Evan, wow, that sucks. Here's uh, just over DM. You might think I'm crazy, but here's this thing. I, you, maybe you should try it. <laughs> Anybody yeah. who you know, who's going through a divorce or marital problems, you can you can do the same thing. Reach out. And some people will take you up on it because they've thought about it or they're just so desperate that they'll try anything. And you have a recipe that can work. Right. Meditation also helps with pain because I've been in five car accidents. So I have like a bone that shifted in my neck. Yes. Yeah. So it also helps with um, helps me with pain. So, so that's that's the path. That's the best path in for you. I'm sure meditation can also help you connect to your pets better or connect to like anything. Great. But maybe you don't have pets. Maybe you hate pets. Great. I have two. <laughs> One's right there. A little dog uh, on the end of my bed. <laughs> right. Just yeah. there's a lot of situations. It's like I, I will believe in people, um, but I like entrepreneurs more than normal people because that's where I came from. That's that's where I struggled the most with. And so that's where I want That's where I feel the most joy in helping. And so whatever you've been through, you, you will feel the most joy in helping other people who've been through it. I had a woman who came to my event who um, she almost lost her child. Uh, her child was born like super early and she used meditation and prayer and a whole bunch of things to kind of get through it. Now, if somebody came to me, if a, if a mother came to me is like almost about to lose her child. I don't know what to say, right? Like I can be, a, a, I can be empathetic and I can be positive and I can spread belief, but I don't know what to do. Like watching a video on, on Steve jobs, I don't think it's going to help you, <laughs> but, but this woman can, cause she's been through it. Right. Right. And so that's where, and, and she'll love helping those other women much more than helping 
anybody else. Like her one word was help. Great. Who do you help? You, everybody in the world needs help, but we all need help in different ways. The people who are going through the thing that you've been through will be the ones who you like helping the most. Yeah, I'm a domestic abuse survivor. My first husband tried to kill me, so. <laughs> Great. Yeah. is another one, right? Yeah. Like, uh, you know, as far as I know, Nina's never tried to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> As far as I know, you know, I, you know, last night, uh, the, yesterday morning, I woke up feeling like Nina was trying to strangle me. Yeah, I heard you say that. Um, yeah, not. because of this, right? I woke up like, oh, Nina, what are you doing? Like, oh, 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 I got my neck brace on. <laughs> I forgot. So, you know, as far as I know, Nina's never tried to kill me. There was that really weird food you tried to feed me the other day. So maybe that was an attempt. I don't know. <laughs> No, I'm just joking. Right. So I haven't gone through that. So I, 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 what do you do through that? I don't know. Like I could guess and I could be supportive and, and, and just listen. And that is adding value. Like just listening to somebody's story and being a, uh, giving somebody a hug is value, but I've never been through it. So I don't know what to say or a strategy to use. I'd be looking up. I'd like, I'd be lo looking on YouTube to try to find someone like you to say, Oh, you look at that. Here, here, go subscribe to her. She's got some videos that might help you through it. Right? Yeah, thank you. See how red my face gets? That's how nervous I get. And I have rosacea, so my face gets, like, extremely red <laughs> when I'm nervous. It's the Great. best. Great. I've got, a, I've got a giant neck brace on right now. <laughs> <laughs> if you wear it well. <laughs> so so that's the thing, right? So it's, it's, it's creating content. It's reaching out. It's spreading the message. But who do you spread the message to? The people who are currently going through the thing that you went through and you have some strategies that can help them. Like when you reached out to me, I felt the love. Um, right? And so like, I, I still have your message flagged on my DMs that we can go back to if I forget like the order or the link or something, right? Like there it is. Okay. Here's the thing that Deb sent, right? You and, and uh, one other guy who sent me some, some stuff as well. And lots of people send stuff like watch healing or heal. The Netflix mm -hmm. documentary Heal, um, and we started that, but we don't have Netflix here, so we got to finish it. Um, but if you had messaged me a month earlier, I would have said thank you so much for the love, but I wouldn't have done anything with it because it wasn't interesting to me at the time. Right. And then life changes. All of a sudden, this is the most important thing in my life. <laughs> yeah. Right. I need. I need a solution. So how do you want to share? Do you, do you want to create content? Do you want to reach out to people? Do you want to make this into a business? Well, I started a YouTube channel to share my weight loss and it evolved. I just started like sharing stuff on camera. Lily Ma helped me because I was trying to be this positive person because I didn't want to show that side, you know, that just, you know, you just not perfect, but like everything's okay. And then she's like, well, we don't need another 50, um, what she say? Another um, peppy fitness instructor. Be yourself. And I'm like, well, nobody's going to want to hear the sadness. And she's like, I watch sad videos when I'm sad. <laughs> so I'm like, and when I get in front of camera, I don't script anything. Something just comes out of me. And this, it just comes on camera, what I'm feeling and releasing. Actually, a lot was um, is releasing that shame because I never shared. Like I have my friend contacted me. It's like, oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't know all this. I would have helped you. And I said, you didn't know me then. I, did, I never share. I never talked about my getting married at a young age and, you know, being abused. I just didn't share that because I was so ashamed of it. Mm -hmm. So, and uh, Doug, Walt, Doug Waltler, yeah, he helped yeah. a lot. Yeah, he shared a um, post that I posted on Instagram, 60 seconds uh, video that I had uh, done. You got people in the, in the live chat saying, I'm going to go follow her page and YouTube channel now. You mean, that's it? That's, that's how you do it. You make a video on how to release shame. How do people do it? How do you really, I feel shame. How do I release it? What, what are my steps? What do I do? And then you tell your story and then you give me advice on how to, how to get out of it. The only way to release it is to talk about it. <laughs> how do you get over the fear of doing it? How do you get over the fear of holding up the phone and, and then just crying, you know, or the, or how people will, will look at you or you don't know what to say. You know, like all of the things that that I've been through, not for releasing shame, but um, making content. Right. And so guiding people through the process and then coaching them. 
I use Mel Robbins technique a lot, the five, four, three, two, one, and just press and go for it. And also praying. <laughs> That's what works for me. Because if I if I wait for that fear to pass, it's not going to happen. I'm never going to record. Great. So so even in the prayer, you can be specific. Like say this prayer before you go live, before you press record, before you you're going to do the thing, before you have that conversation with the person that you you're going to feel embarrassed in front of. Say this prayer. Give them just like you gave me a song. You could have said, "Go find some meditation music and meditate." But you sent me a song. Right. Listen to this song, right? So you could say, instead of just say say a prayer, or oh, a prayer, I don't know, dear God, save me. <laughs> I'm ashamed. I don't know what to do. Right? right? Like you you write it out. Say, this is the prayer that I say. And it may not be the same thing every time, but close enough. Now you're giving like a recipe for other people to follow. Because a lot of people, they don't know how to pray. A lot of people, they don't know how to meditate. Like the stuff that you may find easy or may have done over accumulation of years or decades for others. This is the very first time that they're doing it. Right. And so they have no idea how to do it. And so if you give them the actual recipe, the prayer to, to say, or to follow, they're more likely to do it and have confidence that it's working. Right. Yeah. Thank you so much. And tell Aunt Nina, I said, hello. <laughs> Nina, Deb says hello. Hey, Nina. <laughs> cool. Well, thank you for the love, and, and I hope you have a fantastic sleep and a great weekend ahead. Thank you so much. Okay, much love, Deb. If you want to spend some one on one time with me, I have a special offer happening right now. Go check out the website right next to me. Continue to believe, and I'll see you there.